What's going on, people? I'm going to show you how to fix a pending transaction uh, that's stuck on your MetaMask account. And I'm going to show you how it's done and why it happens in the first place. Uh, so basically, I'm going to do this example using Polygon because it's cheaper, but it's the same idea. So let's say I wanted to do a transaction. Let's say I wanted to buy this token right here. Let's say I want to buy 0.1 worth of ghost token. I hit swap, confirm swap. And the reason your transaction gets stuck is because your GUI level is probably set way too low um, or your transaction uh, is sent fine, but the gas price changes from the time that you send it, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna hit confirm and it's gonna get stuck now because I made the gas price low on purpose for this example. And if I go to my MetaMask here, this is gonna get stuck here for a long, long time. Okay, now the way you fix this is you go uh, up here, you go to that button, you go to settings, you go to advanced, scroll down to reset account. This is not gonna delete your money, this is not gonna delete your recovery phrase, this is just gonna wipe the pending transactions, okay? So I'm gonna hit reset account, reset, and then if we go back, boom, the transactions are all empty now. Now the reason this happens is because again the gas price here the gas tracker so now if i go to my blockchain explorer i can search up my address and as you can see here the transaction is not mentioned at all which means that it was canceled successfully okay now i'm going to do this again with ethereum just to show you that it works the same way so i'm going to switch over to ethereum network let's go to uniswap Let's launch this. Let's try to do something on Uniswap. Okay, so now let's say I wanted to sell my Ethereum for some DAI right here, some stablecoin. Um, I hit swap, confirm swap, and I'm gonna get this gas price here. Now right now, the gas price is set by default, it's set to medium, right? And if we look here, the GUI level for that medium is gonna change every few seconds depending on the demands of the Ethereum network. Now the way that you can actually see the, the gas tracker and what the prices are is just Googling Ethereum gas tracker and you'll see that if your GUI levels are set to these prices low, they're not gonna get sent through, they're gonna take the longest time and that's typically why your transactions get stuck. Um, if you send them at average, which is what it is by default usually, it's gonna go through at a normal rate typically um, or high is like to make it super fast. Now if I go back to my uh, transaction here, go to edit, advanced options, you'll see that this GUI level is changing all the time. So the reason your transaction probably gets stuck is because by the time you hit save and you confirm it, the GUI level has already changed drastically and it requires more Ethereum to, be, uh, to get sent through. Uh, so that's why it happens. And again, it's the same idea. You would just go here, go to settings, go to advanced, reset the account, and then hit reset, and it'll uh, clear out any pending transactions. If you found this video helpful, all I ask is that you give it a thumbs up for, so that other people can find it. Um, you can follow me on Twitter uh, and Instagram as well.